Happy Sunday, everyone. We've got some conditions overnight that could change things up a little bit. Some stormy conditions bring with it a little bit of rain, some chances for storms and some chances for high winds out there. A particular concern because we have trees that are in the very saturated ground over the last 48 hours or so on account of this guy right here. Low pressure system just off the coast, bringing us those chances of storms and some heavy rainfall possible in some areas. So keep an eye on that over the next 12 hours or so going into Monday morning. We'll keep an eye on that because we could see a slight chance of storms overnight. So there is a flood warning for parts of Curry and Coos County. Winds gusting up to 70 miles per hour possible around Crescent City and Brookings. 53 overnight though for Bend and 50 degrees for North Bend. Like I said, with those chances of storms that will linger into about the morning with a flood warning for Curry and Coos County. Looking at southwest winds 25 to 40 miles per hour with gusts up to 55 miles per hour tomorrow. However, things will start to calm down a little bit by noon tomorrow, especially out on the coast. In the West Valley, still a chance for some storms overnight around the mid 40s for your lows overnight. 49 for Cave Junction with gusts. We're seeing up to 45 to 60 miles per hour. So like I said, those trees viable to get knocked down because of those higher winds and the saturated ground out there. Also a flood warning for parts of Josephine and Siskiyou County with a high wind warning as well. Around the 50 degree mark for your highs. Thunderstorms possible early in the morning. Southwest winds 20 to 30 mile per hour. Could see gusts up to 45 miles per hour tomorrow morning. Snow level east of the Cascades dropping to around 5,500 feet, which means we could see an inch to two inches of snow possible around Crater Lake with a high wind warning out there as well. South winds 25 to 40 miles miles per hour, but we could see gusts up to 65 miles per hour with a chance for some storms lingering into the morning, especially around Klamath Falls. Gusty conditions tomorrow as well, getting up to around 50 miles per hour especially around Lakeview, so we'll keep an eye on that as well. Rogue Valley looking like Monday is going to be our last real sign of these stormy conditions that we've seen over the last few days, and then come Tuesday we'll have that high pressure ridge start to build up again, and then we'll see some areas of fog and low clouds in the mornings. We do have a chance again come Sunday for the Rogue Valley, but for most of the week it's going to be more clear and more dry. Klamath Basin, similar story with a chance for some storms in the morning tomorrow on Monday to start out your work week. Mount Shasta City is looking like a mostly clear and slightly warmer war creek for the Mount Shasta City area and out on the coast we have some chances for storms overnight into Monday and then Tuesday's slight chance of rain that slight chance returns after that high pressure builds up towards the middle of the week come Sunday again that's a look at the weather you have a great week